I started to, to play with different subjects. I would give them a different subject and say, well, can you figure this out, can you figure that out? And uh, with a series of experiments, which I won't describe in any detail, but what we got was that children in groups can actually learn almost anything by themselves. I know it, you find it hard to believe, but if you look at all that, and all of it is pu published, peer-reviewed publications, each one getting harder and harder and harder, it just wouldn't stop. So back in England, by that time I had moved to England because of a big research project. Back in England, the teachers said, um, there doesn't appear to be a limit. So why can't we just bring it into school? So I brought the hole in the wall experiment into the schools of England. I live up in uh, northeastern England uh, in a city called Newcastle upon Tyne. Uh, and across the River Tyne is a city called Gateshead. And uh, I started to experiment with the schools of Gateshead. In those schools, we converted the hole in the wall into a method. Um, well, that, that's, uh, that's to show off that I published a lot. It's very useful in universities, you know, because by this time all the professors are frowning and growling and so on. <laughs> so you have to say So anyway, now, you know, I've, I've been a teacher all my life, so, so that's, not a, that's, that, that's not an easy statement for me to write. And I'm sure it's not a very easy statement for many of you to read. But I can't help it. The data says that it's true. <laughs> 